four. Now live from Studio 550, it's McGraw in the morning on the Big 550 KTRS. All right, he is a weight loss coach to, uh, I, I still think, uh, Charles D'Angelo, uh, charlesd'angelo.com. You should add up how much weight you've actually lost <laughs> you for people. Because uh, it would be in the thousands and thousands of, of pounds. Um, you were just uh, telling Cat Neville on the way you were on the cover of the uh, Ladue News, and you sure. had a couple of people who lost how much now? One lost over 150, one lost uh, 93, and the other lost 86. So people that really took control and uh, took charge of their habits and thereby created a lasting change in their lives. So they've lost the weight, and then now they're working on keeping it off. Uh, there's a television show on the History Channel by uh, hosted by a couple of St. Louisans, Randy and Jason Sklar who are uh, comedians, and they ha- it's called the United Stats of America, and they-, they had an episode recently about how fat America is and the obesity problem in this country. There's t- 20 years ago, there was one state that had people who were 15 per- the-, the state was 15% obese, mm-hmm. one state. Now, 20 years later, there's one state that's under 20% obese. Well, it's really scary, especially when we look at our youth, that for the first time ever, we have nine-year-olds popping up with type 2 diabetes. People that are the baby boomer generation are walking around all over the place with type 2 diabetes. And this is a controllable lifestyle disease. It can be managed with proper eating, exercise, and really the right mindset about foods and exercise. And I think that's what's missing out there is people don't have that attitude yet. That's what's missing is how do you discipline yourself so you can stay consistent? I also think that people forget what it's like to be skinny and they accept that they lower their standards yeah, absolutely the dryer really shrinks my clothes why are these movie seats so thin how come the um airlines have such small seats well it's actually the airline seats aren't that big of a problem the fact is that you've gained so much i mean 66 percent of our nation now is overweight a third are obese We have diseases because of this now, and we have lots of people that are willing to say, well, because of my genetics or because of my age or because of my lifestyle circumstances, I'm predetermined to be overweight. And they go to the physician, they get medicated, or they say, well, you know what? I'm just going to put those clothes that I used to fit into in my 20s in the far back end of the closet and not look at them and just buy new clothes and forget that really I can be healthy. I can have energy. I can feel good about myself. Because they come to accept that whatever happens to them is through no making of their own. It just is happening. If you want to take charge of your health, you have to take responsibility. And that opens up the door of this whole talk, topic about uh, the New York City ban on drinks. You heard about that. Right, right, sure. right. Yeah, yeah. they banned the large containers. Anything over 16 ounces is what Mayor Bloomberg's proposing. And I think that's a well-intended effort. But I think the thing that's missing there is the education part. Because folks coming from where I came from, my family, my father's side being morbidly obese, didn't know the amount of sugar that was in those size of drinks. I mean, they thought diabetes was something you just pick up like chicken pox. Right. So considering that, I think most of our efforts should be spent on how do we educate the people in our nation so that we don't have to regulate. If we can learn how to educate them without the regulation, it lends itself to being more in line with what our Constitution, what our nation was founded on, that everyone has the right to choose. Charles D'Angelo, what's the name of your book? It's Think and Grow Thin. It's doing really well. And uh, you were on The Doctors? I was on The Doctors, nice yes. To see you. Uh-huh. Nice to see you still throwing us a bone, even though you're now <laughs> rich and famous. It's and, my pleasure. Uh, uh, and we're going to get you in tip-top shape for your big event this uh, coming. I got my, my, your my sister's my getting married. sister's getting married, yeah. And she asked me to, to give her away. So That's awesome. I got to look good. Um, also, um, tell people that they will feel better. Well, not only will they feel I mean, they better, will they'll feel, feel in control again. Right. I mean, so many people, what you talked about earlier is what I hear every day, day after day, client after client that comes in my office for their first appointment with me, and that is they feel so overwhelmed and so overloaded with so many choices. You've got to become strategic rather than spontaneous. You and I were talking about you want to kind of refine your diet a little bit right. and your exercise program because it's easy to fall back in that trap of being spontaneous. So you can reclaim your health if you're willing to make the right choices with food, if you're willing to make the right choices with exercise, and you're willing to have the right mindset. And if you don't have the time or you can't make the time to come see me, you can get the book, as right. you were talking about. I mean, I lay out in the book a plan to lose over 50 pounds, a plan to lose... Less than 50 pounds, either way, specifically what you need to do so you can get yourself where you want to be. I've never won the lottery, but there's no greater feeling than to put on a pair of pants and have them fit, have them be loose, or even they're too big for you, right? <laughs> pants that were too too small for you are all of a sudden too big for you. And a lot of my clients say the best feeling is no when, their do- well, when their doctor is able to take them off of their medication. 
that they've been on because of the habits they had indulged in for so long. So you can change. Don't lose hope. No matter how many times you've tried, if you're ready to make the change, just uh, check out the website or give me a call. The website is? CharlesD'Angelo.com. CharlesD'Angelo.com. The book is Think and Grow Thin. Books it's Barnes & Noble. Yeah, Amazon.com, Amazon. Barnes & Noble. Com. And they can call me at 314-495-3228. CharlesD'Angelo.com. You, you have 10 seconds for the phone number again. 314-495-3228. And the one message I want everyone to know is no matter how many times you've tried and you're telling yourself you've tried everything, you haven't tried everything. And the other thing is this, as difficult as it is to realize, if you're overweight, it's because of your choices. Change your choices and you can change your life. It's 9 o'clock, KTRS, St. Louis.